Yo, yo, yo! My name is Chris Gongora, and as always, my trusty little dog, Jesse, who is giving me a little tongue bath right now. Yes. Yes. My trusty little dog, Jazzy. There's a couple things that I'm really happy about. Number one, my bass is back, which means I can get back to my almost all bass recordings. Woo! -hoo. Super excited about that. Number two, my little buddy here got a shampoo and a haircut, which is really, really good for me because she was starting to smell a foul just a little bit. And number three, even though my bass is back and I'm going to start doing some more bass covers, I'm still going to do these little videos with my Golden Dola Jazz here. So the past two weeks, I've talked about basses. I've talked about guitarists. So I guess that kind of leaves the top four rock drummers of all time. Throughout my band playing life, I've had the absolute pleasure and honor of playing with some pretty badass drummers. So I've been a little spoiled when it comes to the guys behind the kits. Those guys made me realize that, in my opinion, the two most important players in a band are the drummers and the singers. The singers I'll get to in a couple weeks. If you have a shitty drummer, the whole thing crumbles like a Jenga puzzle. So this is the Mount Rushmore of rock drummers. Or better yet, since this is my personal list, bringing my own personal thoughts and feelings. Instead of four heads on the Mount Rushmore, my picks from now on will be the four pegs on a base. I've said it once, and I'll keep saying it again and again, this is obviously just my list. If you agree with my list, if you disagree with my list, if you want to pick a topic uh, that we can talk about in the next couple weeks, go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know. All right, so sitting on the fourth peg of my base is a little unconventional pick. I'm going with Terry Bozio. And honestly, I don't care if I get a little slack from that pick because I'm only getting like 20 views from these videos anyway. And not to mention the fact Bozio is an incredible drummer. He threw down with Frank Zappa. He co-founded Missing Persons. His style is unique, technical, and complex. He's my number four. Number three on my peg would be Moon the Loon. Or Keith Moon, of course. Jesse, come here. Hey, Jesse. Jesse's gonna take a little break while I, uh, well, I continue with my list. Keith Moon was a crazy soul both behind and outside of the kit. He literally almost blew off Pete Townsend's head off when he packed a crazy amount of explosives in his drum kit when they were playing the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Come on back, Jazz. Come and join me. Come and join me for two and one. One and two. Number two on my peg is Neil Pert from the band Rush. She's gonna come back for number one. She's excited about number one, trust me. Pert was a virtuoso drummer who was so precise, refined, and imaginative. I know some people would have him on the number one spot in their list, and truly you get no argument from me. But for this particular list, my list, he's my number two. Yeah, Jazz is coming back for number one. You know who number one is? Number one? It's Bonzo! My number one is John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. He was heavy. He was aggressive. He was a beast behind the kit. He laid a foundation that drummers are still playing on today. So that's it, my top four rock drummers of all time. Terry Bozio, Keith Moon, Neil Peart, and John Bonham. Agree? Disagree? Go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know. Jazz and I will see you next week with some more bullshit to talk about. Isn't that right, Jazzy? Mm -hmm. So nice people, your haircut. Look at that, look at that, what's that? What's that over there?